Welcome back to LCC. All right, in the last segment, we looked at configuring masts, and admittedly, they were pretty simple. Uh, you're probably thinking, Detlef, I don't need to make a separate spreadsheet for green, yellow, red. Uh -huh. But what we're going to do today is just do a quick segment on how to expand that for a multi head signal with different kinds of configurations. So, with that in mind, let's go ahead and jump back over to the computer stream and uh, walk through that. Okay, before we start, let me open up the spreadsheet that we were working on. Uh, yesterday, after I recorded it, I kind of decided to stick with my convention here, turnout one. So all the turn, all the signals around turnout one should have twos associated with them. So before I had this as S2 West and S4 West, I decided to make it S2 West main and S2 West siding, make it a little bit more clear. Um, and that keeps all the signals associated with this control point as a 2. I also added these distant signals, 2 west distant and 2 eastbound distant. Um, I recognize not everybody uses distant signals, typically block systems. You would have a different signal designation for that. But just for the purposes of this uh, demo here, um, I just left it as is. The distance signal could be tied to a mi mile marker or whatever, a previous block signal, whatever. But just for the purposes of it, I'm calling them 2WD and 2ED. Okay? All right. And then um, I went ahead down here on the tabs. I went ahead and created copies of it for all our different cases. And, you know, just to save time here, um, we did this in the last video. Um, I, I updated it, cleaned up a little bit of the text down here. But I went ahead and programmed in, you know, the westbound siding. Um, again, these are the events to set the aspects, and these are actually the lights that will light on those. We went through these, but I just applied it. And then for the eastbound and westbound distance signals, um, I set up those exactly like we did before, with the only thing of note is that we're on a different node here. I can see where I goofed up because these are on a different node, so they should be A9. So let's fix that really quick so that we don't have any confusion. See, you can see the event to set aspect is actually 1001A9. That's the node number because it's on a different node. Recall that we have a different node for these two signals. All right, so that's all updated, but the big one is this guy, and that's what we're going to do today. And this is a double headed signal. Um, S2EA, I'm designating as the top head, and ST, S2EB as the bottom head. Okay, now to configure this guy, we need to think about our rule names. So let's start off with stop, which is pretty easy, right? Okay. And the aspect, now we go back to our aspect references. Uh -huh. Now if we want to do a stop, let me go back to my um, decoder ring here. Stop with a two-headed signal is red over red, correct? Okay. So not a big deal. And previously, remember, we just simply had a single lamp. We just had lamp one is a red signal, but now we're going to have two of them here. So let's go over to this guy here. So the aspect will be red over red to use the designation. Of course, the track speed will be stopped. We'll look at the events later. So it's going to be on head. I already looked it up. It's going to be heads one and two, and this will be signal mass three. So it's going to be head one and two. Well, this is going to be on head one, we're going to have the red signal and it's not going to be flashing, right? Does that make sense? For lamp two, it's going to be head two and red, all right? And we're not going to use lamp three and four. Okay, okay, okay. So let's move along here. What will be our next designation? Well, our next most restrictive would be um, taking the siding. So let's go back here to our signal aspects. And um, this would be a diverging approach, is what we're going to do. So a diverging approach will be called approach slow in um, the LCC parlance. So we're doing approach diverging, which will be approach slow. Tracking with me here? Okay, let's go back to this guy here. I'm waiting! We're going to use their correct approach slow, so that'll be this guy right here, and that's going to be red over yellow, and anything that's not either stop or clear, I'm just going to make it as an approach. If you wanted to get fancy, you can certainly use more of the available track speeds, 
Um, if you want to get all fancy, you can call it a limited speed or medium speed or approach medium, whatever. But I'm going to stick with those three. We'll figure out the event later. So this is going to be head one will be red and head two will be yellow in this particular case. Does that make sense? Uh -huh. All right, what's our next most restrictive? I think it would be um, just simply a yellow over red or what are we calling that? That would be if it's an approach signal with a two-headed signal. So approach would be yellow over red, okay? And that is your, your basic, your next most restrictive. Oh, I can hit the wrong one here. What do we call it? Just approach. I love it! Yellow over red. There we go. Head one is yellow, and head two is red. All right, what's our next most restricted? I think it would be um, diverging is clear. So let's go back to our signal aspect reference. So if the diverging clear, here it is, if it's red over green, we're going to call that diverging clear, but I don't think there's a NORAC, so our diverging clear is going to be the same as a medium clear. All right, following with me? So we're going to call this medium clear, which is red over green. Track speed, anything other than clear, will be approach. Head one, we decided is red, and head two is green. Look at all these different aspects. Um, then finally, we have um, our clear signal. Main track is open, so we go back to our aspects. Yes, indeed. Green over red, clear. Now, notice I could make it green with a dark, green over dark if I wanted to. We just don't configure then that particular light. Or if we had multiple heads, we can configure it that way. But I like a lot of lights on the layout. So we're going to do green over red. So go back to my rules here. We're going to call this clear, because clear is clear. And that would be green over red. And that would be clear on the track speed. And head one is green. And head two is red. Now, and don't forget, we've got this um, um, logic alert. Okay. To put together. And I'm going to do red, yellow, green over red, yellow, green. And it'll be stop. And I don't even know if I want to configure this. It'll be just red, yellow, green. Head one. Red, yellow, green. Head two. Red, yellow, green. Of course, this is nonsensical. But in any case, it's something that'll clearly indicate what's going on. So now that we've got our rules worksheet done here, um, signal mask three, heads one and two. So now we go back to our configuration dialog, pull this over here to the side. Let me pull up the particular node that we're working on. Here we go. Make sure we're working on the right one, 10.01.09. This is 10.01.09. Um, I know I'm a stickler for a lot of this documentation, but if, um, if it's me, I just would rather have this all laid out than trying to remember all this as I lay it in. So we're going to call this signal to eastbound A and B, just to keep everything correlated. Uh, lamp fade, we're going to do the incandescent. Rule one, stop, we got that. Um, the event is set the aspect, copy this. Pop it in over here, just so we have the documentation. Lamp one. Now we're going to do, this is how we handle the two. Oh, you know what I forgot up here? The mass processing. It has to be normal. So right. That one. Okay, so um, lamp one, we decided, is H1 red. H1 red. Steady. And lamp two will be head two red. Now we've configured, so head one red, head two red, save the changes. Now I've configured that particular rule. Okay, next one. What's our next one? Approach slow. Approach. 
not slow approach, believe it or not. That's a different as opposed to approach slow. Got to be consistent here. Anything that's not stopped will be what? Yep, approach. Here's our set aspect code. And then, uh, oops, did I forget it again? Yeah, mass processing. I oh, got that already. All right, lamp one. Uh, we decided that's going to be head one is red. And lamp two, head two is yellow. Save changes. And you know what? I'm going to go ahead and keep working on this. Um, you just configure all these in. I'll try to speed up the video a little bit. Yes, indeed. So that we can uh, get through the video a little bit faster. <laughs>this last one we're just gonna have some fun with this one again I want to make it very clear that something's not right so lamp one we're gonna use head one green you know, for that one, I'm going to go ahead and just use, um, I only can use up to four lamps, so I can't do all of them. <clears throat> so it's just going to be red, green, flashing. All right. So there we go. I love it. And uh, we should be good to go now. This is all done. And we've finished up another, actually all the signals. Okay, so that sets up all our rules for this little module. Ready to go. Next step, we'll be pulling in all the events that are relevant. So stay tuned. That'll be in the next session. See you there.